Boy has this channel been overdue for this video. I've been meaning to make a DVD in Blu-ray update for ages, but I've just never gotten around to it. Like I really need to get started on the bond fun. Sorry about that, I never intended to start making those, it's just happened that I've never started because I'm doing other stuff. I will continue it, trust me, but yeah. Okay, moving on to the DVD in blue rays. If I sound tired, it's because this is take free, okay? I just haven't been satisfied with this video yet. Okay, first off, there's The Librarian, Return to King Solomon's Minds, the second movie in the Librarian trilogy. Oh, and just so you guys know, the first movie in this trilogy is actually back in print now. So, you can get it about as cheap as the other two. Me, personally, I actually think this one is the best of the three movies, followed by the first and the third. Sorry if there's a lot of background noise, I got the window open. It's been pretty windy here. Mash the movie and the best DVD edition possible. So now I officially have every official DVD release of MASH, because I have this, all 11 seasons, and Goodbye, Farewell, and Amen, and the main reason to get that is the two bonus discs that you would get if you have Martinis in Medicine. So now I just have to watch all of that, and then I can check out Walter and After MASH, if I so choose. Then... A couple months ago, I got on a Star Wars craze for the first time in years, even though I haven't seen the movie since, uh... My, uh... First year of high school for the prequels, and third year of high school for the original trilogy. So, first thing I did was that I downloaded a whole bunch of documentaries... Or specials made about Star Wars. I even found this crazy seven hour documentary, which is actually just all free original trilogy movies, theatrical cuts with a whole bunch of behind the scenes info, pictures, footage, stuff streamed online. I'll put the link if it's still up. And yes, it took forever to download. Ooh. But that's just documentaries and stuff that you can't get. What about official releases? Well, I pick first I got both volumes of Star Wars Clone Wars, the uh, micro series that was made between when they released Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. These are out of print, but you can get them pretty cheap. Now, these you can't get pretty cheap, but I had to get these because there's extras on these that aren't on the complete saga Blu ray set. You should be able to figure it out already, but what the heck? I got. The Star Wars movies, Pfft. yeah. For those of you who are fans of my first channel, you gotta be wondering why the heck I don't have the Star Wars movies. Well, I just never got around to it, because one, I rewatched them to death when I was younger, along with many other movies. And two, I just... never bothered to pick them up. But now I know that I should've. Oh, and if you're wondering why I got the gray box set, not the two-disc, limited editions, it's because, one, I only am losing the theatrical releases of the original trilogy and anamorphic ride screen and a bunch of stupid online extras that actually don't add anything, and since that huge seven-hour documentary has the original movie's theatrical cuts, I'm covered. Although I still have to get Star Wars droids, Star Wars Ewoks, uh, check out the holiday special somehow, even though I'm sure it'll suck, uh, and check out Star Wars The Clone Wars, which I've already seen bits of. Oh, and if you're wondering, am I going to be picking up the VHS releases? Nah, I did, however, download the uh, opening interviews that are done at the beginning of every single one of them, both sets, mind you, so I've covered everything that I have to, because I'm not totally obsessed about getting every version of Star Wars. I just need one version, although I am going to be buying the complete saga on Blu-ray, but that's for extras. Yeah, Lucas. Couldn't have made it, so we only have to get one set... Jeez. Okay, if you've seen my movie question air video, you already know I have this. Nightmare on Elm Street the remake with the slipcover. Pretty cool, huh? Picked this up on a blind buy, I really enjoyed it, and this actually got me into watching the uh, 
teen slasher franchises, along with a couple of other factors besides this. I've seen all the Scream movies, even though I saw them a long time ago. Saw, even though that's more of a thrill thriller and doesn't really have any teens. All the Texas Chainsaw movies. And I've also seen all the Friday the 13th movies. L review of that franchise coming up. Haven't seen Freddy vs. Jason, though, because I need to see the Nightmare movies, so I still gotta see Nightmare and Halloween. I'll be doing Halloween first. Okay. Now, another remake that I'm gonna have to do a tiny bit of an explanation for. Total Recall with Colin Farrell, not Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, I mainly picked this movie up because I wanted to see a sci-fi movie with a bunch of stuff blowing up. And that's basically what I got. It's not because I hate Arnold, I love Arnold, or because I have anything against the original Total Recall, but I just never had any real interest in seeing that. And I don't really consider this, shall we say, a Total Remake of um, Total Recall, because the fact that it said Total Recall in the title had nothing to do with my interest in seeing it. I just saw the trailer and then I liked it. It just happened to be called Total Recall. So, am I going to see the original? Probably not, but I don't have anything against it. It's just a movie that I don't think I'm going to see. And what did I think about this? Um, I rated it three stars on Amazon, and that's what I'll rate here. It's fun. I got uh, nervous for these characters. There was a bunch of stuff blowing up, but the development between them is kind of weak, and a couple of twists, well, they'll just be there. Alright, moving on to a better sci-fi movie. Prometheus. I got this edition because this is the edition you want if you want to get every extra, even though I'm actually never going to watch the Blu-ray 3D because one, I don't have a 3D TV. Two, what's the point? What's the real benefit of just going to 3D and free? Isn't Blu-ray kind of being rendered out by 4K stuff these days? I don't know, that's just a tiny bit of... Info I got from Sarah Nizerak, and it's totally confusing me. And why are we switching to a new format already? Because Blu-ray's only been out for, what, seven years? Eight years? Something like that? And it's... People are just finally starting to fully make the big switch over. It's becoming as cheap as, like, DVD was back when Blu-ray was supposed to be introduced. Come on! Ah... Uh. Tiny bit of a rant there, even though I am fine with format changes now, because I've learned that Blu-ray actually wasn't meant to completely replace DVD. It was meant to be alongside DVD. And it's done pretty well. Okay, okay, back to the Blu-rays. <laughs> Rocky, the Undisputed Collection. Of course, you would know this if you saw my Rocky film series review. Really enjoyed those movies, the, uh, order that I rank them in from best to worst is 6, 3, 1, 2, 4, 5. And um, if you're wondering what the cutoff is for um, good Rocky movies versus bad Rocky movies, the cutoff is 4 and 5, because I do like 4, but it's the first one in the franchise that had flaws. And 5, I'll admit I don't like, and it's the only one I really don't. Okay, next up is... Sucker Punch. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me explain myself here. I saw this movie purely because I wanted to see all of Zack Snyder's movies. I am not going to see Legend of the Guardians, but I am going to see Man of Steel. Yeah, sue me. I haven't seen it yet. Anyways, I had seen Dawn of the Dead, 300, and Watchmen, so at the time Man of Steel hadn't been released. Well, it was just about to, so this was the only one I had to see left. So I went over to... a website that I use to stream a lot of movies that I have a passive interest in, but don't really feel like forking over the bucks for. Then I turned it on and expect not to like it, and when it was over, I go, that wasn't a bad movie, I actually really liked it, I'm pretty sure this is the theatrical cut, and it was, so... I went out, trying to find the Blu-ray, and I'm lucky that I found it with the slipcover. There's actually not really any damage to this thing. There was a tiny bit of the sticky damage, but it's actually all gone now. And even though it does have this little bit of damage here, I don't know. I actually think it makes it look cooler, if you ask me. So, yeah, you're looking at a big fan of Sucker Punch here, actually. And I'm pretty sure there's actually a larger group out there than people would expect. 
Next up is Final Destination 2. I'm trying to get all those movies on Blu-ray, even though I am going to keep my DVD of free. It's the only one that I have to. The uh, first two Fast and the Furious movies, I got these at Walmart for 10 bucks a piece. Although, since I got them so long ago, they probably don't have the rest there anymore, but it's not a big deal if I can't get the rest of them there with the slip covers. Supernatural Season 2, I already posted the review for this, so I'm gradually collecting that series on Blu-ray. And finally, I've got the first two seasons of Lost Girl. This is a pretty interesting series. I haven't actually laughed this much since Stargate Atlantis. <laughs> Although, I'll admit, the second season is a bit of a drop from the first season, but it is still fun. It just has flaws. Alright, so I finally got that out of the way. Gave a tiny bit of my thoughts for everything I've got, and hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry that it took so long.